What if I told you there's a way to increase your push-up count without ever getting sore or tired? You don't need more strength. You need the right strategy. Let me show you how. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly and effectively increase your push-up count, whether you're just starting or trying to break through a plateau. These are the same techniques that have helped countless people double their reps, and you can start applying them today. Grease the Groove, GTG. The first method to increase your push-up count fast is a technique called Grease the Groove, and it's all about frequency. Instead of pushing yourself to failure once a day, you're going to do push-ups multiple times throughout the day. But here's the trick. You're not going to max out each time. Let's break it down. How does it work? Say you can do 20 push-ups in one go. With the GTG method, you'll only do 10 to 12 push-ups each time, about 50 to 70% of your max. And you'll do this several times a day, maybe five or six times. This way, your body gets used to performing push-ups more frequently without burning out. Why is it effective? Your nervous system learns to adapt. By spreading the work across the day, you're essentially training your muscles to recover faster and get stronger without feeling sore or fatigued. The key is not to exhaust yourself, but to practice push-ups like a skill you're refining. Here's how you can incorporate GTG into your day. Every couple of hours, drop down and do a set of 10 push-ups. Do this five to six times throughout the day, and you'll notice a difference in how push-ups start feeling easier. Eccentric focus, negative push-ups. Now let's talk about another powerful technique. Negative push-ups, or the eccentric focus method. This targets the lowering phase of the push-up, where your muscles are under the most tension. If you've never tried this before, you'll be surprised at how quickly it boosts your strength and endurance. What are negative push-ups? Instead of focusing on pushing yourself up, you'll focus on lowering yourself down as slowly as possible. You can aim for a five to 10 second descent. Once you're at the bottom, either drop to your knees to reset or push up quickly to repeat the movement. Why is it effective? Here's the science behind it. The eccentric phase of a movement, the lowering part, creates more muscle damage, which leads to greater strength gains. That's because your muscles work harder to control the weight as you lower it, which in turn helps you break through plateaus. You can start by adding three to four sets of negative push-ups into your workout two or three times a week. Keep your focus on a slow, controlled descent and aim to lower yourself for as long as you can. Over time, this will help you handle more push-up reps with better form. Explosive push-ups, plyometrics. Next, we're going to crank up the intensity with explosive push-ups. This technique taps into your fast twitch muscle fibers, which are responsible for quick, powerful movements. By training these fibers, you'll not only increase your strength, but also your ability to handle higher reps. What are explosive push-ups? Explosive push-ups are all about speed and power. Instead of pushing up slowly, you'll push off the ground as quickly and powerfully as possible, ideally lifting your hands off the floor. You might have seen clap push-ups, which are a great example of this. Why is it effective? When you train explosively, you activate fast twitch muscles, which generate more force than slow twitch fibers. This helps you build power and endurance faster. The explosive motion trains your body to become more efficient at generating force, allowing you to perform more push-ups in the long run. Add three to four sets of explosive push-ups into your weekly routine, aiming for five to 10 reps per set. If you're just starting, you can begin with knee push-ups and progress from there. Focus on the push-ups upward phase, launching yourself off the ground with as much speed as possible. Micro progression strategy. Now, let's talk about one of the most effective yet underrated techniques for increasing your push-up count, micro progression. Instead of making big jumps, 
you're going to focus on small, manageable improvements, step by step. What is micro-progression? The idea here is simple. Instead of trying to dramatically increase your push-ups all at once, you'll aim to add just one to two extra reps or slightly improve your form each time. It might not seem like much, but these tiny adjustments build up over time. Why is it effective? By focusing on small gains, you avoid burning out or hitting a plateau. The gradual increase keeps your body adapting and it's easier to maintain consistent progress. This method also reduces the risk of injury because you're not pushing yourself too hard too soon. Here's how you can apply micro progression. If your current max is 15 push-ups, aim for 16 tomorrow or improve your form by getting your chest just a little closer to the ground. Even tiny tweaks in depth or speed can lead to noticeable long-term improvements. Core and mobility drills. Now let's focus on something that often gets overlooked, your core stability and shoulder mobility. Believe it or not, a strong core and flexible shoulders are essential for pushing out more reps with good form. Why core stability matters? Your core is what keeps your body in a straight line during push-ups. If your core isn't strong enough, your hips might sag or your back might arch, making it harder to perform push-ups efficiently. Strengthening your core allows you to maintain a solid plank-like posture, which makes each rep easier and improves endurance. Why shoulder mobility matters? Shoulder mobility affects the range of motion and prevents injuries during push-ups. Tight shoulders can limit how deep you can go, and over time, this can lead to pain or injury. Improving mobility will allow you to get more range out of every rep, making them more effective. Incorporate core exercises like planks, hollow body holds, and shoulder stretches into your routine. Aim for two to three sets of these drills a few times a week. You'll notice that as your core gets stronger and your shoulders more flexible, your push-up form will improve and you'll be able to do more reps with ease. Rest pause method. Now let's look at a technique that helps you squeeze out extra reps even when you're close to exhaustion, the rest pause method. This is a powerful way to push past your limits without totally wearing yourself out. What is the rest pause method? The idea here is simple. Instead of doing as many push-ups as you can in one go, you break the set into smaller chunks with short rest periods in between. You push yourself close to failure, rest for 10 to 15 seconds, and then go again for more reps. Why is it effective? When you take short breaks, your muscles recover just enough to allow you to perform more reps without fully resting. This method helps build endurance and muscle capacity because you're training your body to keep going even when it's fatigued. Here's how to try the rest pause method. Perform as many push-ups as you can, rest for 10 to 15 seconds, then do as many more as possible. Repeat this two, three times. You'll be surprised at how many more push-ups you can do just by taking these mini breaks. Tracking and goal setting, finally, one of the most crucial elements of increasing your push-up count is tracking your progress and setting clear, realistic goals. It's not just about doing more push-ups. It's about knowing where you're starting from and where you want to go. Tracking your push-ups allows you to see improvements over time, and that progress motivates you to keep going. Without tracking, it's easy to lose sight of the small gains that build up to big results. Setting both short-term and long-term goals keeps you focused and accountable. Instead of just doing push-ups aimlessly, you're working toward a clear target, whether it's adding one more rep this week or reaching a specific push-up count by the end of the month. Start by logging how many push-ups you can currently do. Then set a weekly goal, like adding one, two extra reps every few days. Break your ultimate goal, say 50 push-ups, into smaller steps and track your progress regularly. Apps, fitness journals, or even simple notes on your phone can make this easy. 
By now, you've got all the tools you need to increase your push-up count. Whether you're using the Grease the Groove method, focusing on eccentric push-ups, or mastering the rest-pause technique, these strategies will help you get more reps in no time. The key is consistency. Keep applying these techniques, track your progress, and set small, achievable goals. And before you know it, you'll be crushing your push-up goals. If you found these tips helpful, be sure to check out other videos on our channel. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.